All right, so this is Mike with Edge on Up, and this video is about the PT50B and its ability to measure changes that affect edge performance that would be simply undetectable otherwise. The point then is to demonstrate to you that for most enthusiasts and professionals, the PT50B with 5 grams of resolution is likely all the instrument you need. So one of the things that we are going to show you today is how we can actually measure the amount of oxidation on an edge. So let's talk about oxidation very quickly so we're all on the same page here. Oxidation is simply the interaction of oxygen with another material. It's what turns uh, cut apples brown and copper green. The most familiar form of oxidation to knife sharpeners, though, is rust. While a, and while a penny may turn green, that form of oxidation is not destructive to the copper surface. In the case of what we know as rust, it is destructive. And that's why we always make a big deal out of removing razor blade wrappers right before your eyes in these videos. Uh, and we've set up a little experiment here to show you why. I think I'm also going to throw in one other very easy demo because it's, it will be kind of like killing two birds with one stone here. And that is the effect of a rolled edge on sharpness. And here's how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to take one of these razor blades right here and I think I'm going to put this fulcrum piece in because I use this to rest my hand on when I'm measuring these blades. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do the measurement. Instead of doing it right, I'm going to do it wrong. Um, so if you've watched our videos a dozen times, you've seen us measure these standard razor blades, and we get an answer of 50 plus or minus 5. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take this razor blade and instead of holding it straight up and down, I'm going to tip it back just a little bit and we're going to measure that because that mimics the effect of a rolled edge. In other words, I'll roll the, the blade back but I'll go straight down with the cut. So let's get on with that and because if nothing else you're probably tired of just watching us measure razor blades and get 50 so we'll mix it up a little bit here so let me get the blade out let's turn our PT50B on and um, yeah, we'll do the Astra Edge again here so here if I were just going to measure this this would be it right here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip that back towards me probably maybe five degrees and then I'm just going to go straight down here S what 65 now that is I would say about right for how much I tipped it back so just a little demo there so let's do this um, I stuck a razor blade, just stuck the very corner of it in the wall back here yesterday. So it's been sitting there roughly something just shy of 24 hours, I guess. And uh, so now keep in mind, well, I just bumped the answer up a little bit. Keep in mind, um, that this number is supposed to be 50 and it would be 50 if I'd measured the razor blade correctly but in demonstrating the rolled edge we got what 65 I guess it was so um, let's do this let me tear this out and let me reach back here stuck in a wall here is this razor blade now I'll tell you right up front what we generally see with these, um, once they've been left out overnight, you know, it's not huge. It's like, 
anywhere from 10 to 20 grams maybe. So that's all we're looking for. So the answer we expect here then is, because we know it should measure 50 if it, ha if, it, if it hadn't been left out overnight. So we know it should measure 50. So what we're looking here is, for is, is, is pr I'm speculating of course, is somewhere between 60 and 70. So let's, let's see what we get here. Seventy. Okay. Well, that's uh, about as expected. But you can see that's why we keep harping on this brand new razor blade straight out of the wrapper. If you're looking for fifty, uh, the best standard of fifty for a double-edged razor blade, uh, make sure you keep these things in the wrapper uh, before you measure them. And um, quite frankly, I don't want to get um, off track here with what our real message is and that is look what this instrument just did you know I mean that's the kind of capability that you can put into your sharpening room with a PT50B and uh, in most cases this is the instrument that I use when I'm measuring knives so anyhow that's um, that's the video for today so we appreciate it very much and talk to you later